Welcome back campers and parents. My name is Mr. Tyler and my activity for holiday madness is favorite holiday bowling. So the first thing you need to do is pick your favorite holidays. Mine's Halloween, so I'm going to be playing this game with a Halloween theme. You can choose any holiday you want and once you've got your holiday, here's the materials you'll need. So you're going to need either soda cans or bottles of water, even plastic cups would work. You're going to need some construction paper. And the construction paper is going to have to follow a color scheme similar to what your theme is going to be, right? So I've got six cans, uh, which again, six bottles, six cans, six cups, whatever. Uh, but you'll likely need six. And then I've got six sheets of paper here. And I've got like orange for jack-o'-lantern, green for uh, Frankenstein, right? Black for the black cat, white for a mummy. So I've got all sorts there. And then you're going to need some scissors as well. You also need some tape and you need some markers. So an alternative to this would be to just paint the cans, but painting would take a long time and you've got drying. And if you want to play the game right after you're done making it, I would say stick with construction paper, markers, tape, and scissors. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a can and we're going to take like this one, for instance, and we're going to put it down on our piece of paper. And what you're going to do is this is like a measurement process. You're going to take a marker and you're going to mark where the can ends. So put the bottom of the can at the very bottom of the paper, layer paper landscape, which this is landscape. This is portrait. So lay it landscape. Take your can, align the bottom of this with the bottom of the paper. And then wherever the top of the can ends up, mark it. Once you've done that, you're gonna go ahead and take either, you take another piece of paper, a folder, if you have a ruler, that'll work too. And you have that little mark on the line of the top of the soda can, you're just gonna go ahead and use a ruler or a folder or anything straight. You can even use another piece of paper and throw it across like that and just draw your line across your paper. Boom. Just like that. So you end with something like this. And this is, as you can see, the height. The soda can. Okay. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and cut on this line. Now you're gonna have to ask your parents if you are allowed to use the scissors. If you're not allowed to use the scissors, ask them for help. Good. All right. So once you're done, you've got something like this. You're gonna put the soda can. You're gonna put it back down on the table. You're gonna put your soda can on top of it. And the first thing you're gonna do is take a piece of tape and stick the piece of paper to the soda can. Just like that. So you got something like this, okay? I don't know if you can see that eat a little better, right? And then I want you to roll the can all the way with the paper. And it should look something like this, right? And when you're done, when you're done rolling, and you're gonna to want to make sure too that like when you're rolling it, it's staying tight because you don't want it to get too loose. When you're done with that, you're gonna take another piece of tape and throw the tape right along there. And boom! So we've wrapped our first soda can. So you're gonna from this point, you can draw whatever you want on this, and you're gonna do that with all the other cans. I'm gonna do that real quick, and then we'll talk about what's next. All right, so as you can see, I followed along and cut all the construction paper out, and then I drew Halloween faces all over the soda cans. Now, you can draw whatever holiday is your favorite. Stick with that theme. So this is Halloween. This is what it would look like. And whatever other holiday you have, make that the same theme. Now let's go outside and show you the bowling part. All right, so once you have your designs drawn on the cans, you're going to come outside. I'm just coming to my deck. It's really warm out, the sun's shining, so a nice roof here to keep me cool. And all you're gonna need now is a ball, whatever ball you have. Tennis ball, soccer ball, baseball, basketball, this is a lacrosse ball, racquetball, whatever you have. And then how you're gonna play is you're just gonna throw the ball, just like bowling, you're gonna roll it on the ground and see how many pins you can knock over. Now, here's uh, a little bit of modifications. For beginner, have it set up like in a tower formation like I have it. For intermediate, what you're gonna do is you're gonna set it up like actual bowling pins, which I'll show in a minute, and same with the advanced. 
the beginner, start by being kind of close and using a bigger ball. This will just allow you to hit the pins a little bit easier. For intermediate, take 10 to 20 steps backwards uh, from the cans and use a smaller ball. For the advanced, take 20 to 30 steps back from the cans and use an even smaller ball, the smallest ball you can find, even a golf ball, and try to do the same thing, knock over the cans. One can is one point. If you're playing by yourself, just score yourself. If you're playing with a friend, see who can get to 30 the fastest. So now I'm gonna show you what each of the different levels look like. So this is the beginner. I'm gonna have them stacked in a tower formation here. I'm gonna take my lacrosse ball and just roll it. So as you can see, I got down four cans. Two of them were standing, so that would be four points. Okay, so for the intermediate, I'm gonna have them like a normal bowling alley and I'm gonna stand a little bit far back and we're gonna try to do the same thing. Got them all that time. All right, now for the advanced, I'm gonna take even more steps backwards. This is 20 to 30 steps. All right, everyone, well, I hope you enjoyed Favorite Holiday Bowling. I had a lot of fun playing it and making it. It's actually a pretty fun game. You can play with your family, your friends, whoever's around, or just by yourself. If you want to just play by yourself, that's fine too. Come up with some crazy designs and have a lot of fun with it. So other than that, I will see you all next week for Animal Planet. Stay safe and stay active.